Have you been able to identify the orbital weapon station? Such a weapon platform has to be resupplied after deployment, and they spared no expense bombarding us. Only three space centers capable of such an undertaking are currently active worldwide. Cape Canaveral, Kourou, and Baikonur. The first two are under strict surveillance. We would have known if any suspicious activity had occurred there. Indeed. So that leaves Baikonur. I've requested satellite photo reconnaissance of Baikonur, man. A launch is in preparation. Gather your men, Colonel. There's no time to lose. I only have a handful of survivors with me. Detachments away from the base at the time of the attack will need more time to regroup with us. We don't have time. I do have some trustworthy contacts in the Russian army. I should be able to get you some help. Major Raevsky, Colonel. My government is concerned about a terrorist organization. They have a stronghold in Baikonur. We will, therefore, support your operation with tanks and Special Forces helicopters. That should make up for the absence of your heavier equipment, Colonel. But you won't be able to make up your losses. Take care of them, then. The enemy has an outer ring of fixed defenses. We must dispose of them before setting up a base camp. Welcome back to Act for Aggression. And welcome to Kazakhstan. And apparently we're back in the Cosmo drone. Now they can't ignore our presence. Please don't interrupt me. So we are, we're back in, in Kazakhstan. And once more we have to, well, sort of take over the back in the Cosmo drone. We get some Black Eagles here and some Akulas. Got some fancy Russian equipment. Because the Russian army supports our operation here and these guys here can take out these troops from a range which is quite neat I'm not quite sure whether these actually have anti-air capabilities they're definitely anti-ground but I'm not sure whether they can get an anti-air upgrade in any case let's not push it and let's blow this up from a distance also these explode super violently there's like a massive like dead zone here so let's advance with our tanks we can't replace these these are essentially like Abrams tanks. They might even be just reskinned Abrams tanks. But that's not really a that's not really a problem. I mean Abrams tanks are pretty awesome, so who am I to complain? So Oh, and they're sending stuff, so let's have my tank my tanks take care of those because these guys here are anti-air. There we go. And they can't really compete with our or black eagles here. So, time to move in. Oh, whoa, 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 those guys are anti-air. Okay. Take a step back. Damn, what, look how much infantry they have here. Yeah, they have... Wow. Sending quite a lot of garbage at us here. But we're in relatively good shape. And um, these guys here, they have no chance against tanks. Oh, maybe you do. Damn it. Okay, move in. And kill these guys. And... Yeah, you can take care of those guys. Come on. Yeah, even the whose next uh, quote is from the Abrams tank, but now the Russian. Well, with the Fox Russian accent. It's not actually Russian. Otherwise, I probably couldn't understand it. So my Russian isn't good enough for that. So... We want to remaining and then we're good here we go yeah I don't think these guys are anti-air if they are they have a really short range and that's a lot of POWs you will build a, a prison straight away after we get our base oh there's another one here I didn't notice that never mind take care of it now and another good thing here is that these these vehicles here, they don't crush POWs or injured soldiers anymore. Potential POWs. Instead, they just drive around them. So you don't risk crushing everyone you you might want to turn into a prisoner. The area is clear. Your engineers can move in. That's good. 
And let's move up a little bit. And this guy already has a stealth upgrade. Fancy. Air Force Command reports enemy planes inbound. Those SU-25s will decimate our tanks. We need Seaweeds to intercept their missiles. We can upgrade our Sentinel turrets or deploy Panzer vehicles for mobile protection. Yep, we will do that, but we'll also... target by two air control centers here. Destroying them would remove their air support. Yep, we'll get to that, but first let me turn this one here into a repair outpost. And let's get this upgrade here. So all these vehicles will be fixed. And so will these base defenses here. Let's get these upgrades here straight away. And that should give us all the protection we need from airstrikes and vehicles for now. So, also, let's get a prison. Uh, yeah, may as well get that here. And let's get a bunch of marines. So we can POW these guys here straight away and fill up our prison and get some income. Upgrade completed. And then we can take out these Upgrade radars here. Completed. There isn't too much stuff in the way, but there's some... Get over here. Uh, but there's some Building some complete. base fence and vehicles, and I don't really want to blow up all these tanks here. Just to get these radars out of the way a little bit earlier. Yeah, these guys here have pretty much no chance. Same goes for these planes. Uh, these guys here can shoot down most of the missiles straight away. And even if they get hit a couple of times, I still have the repair outpost here, so that isn't too much of an issue. I could get this, this one here transformed too, just so we can, can can actually repair repair outpost. But at the same time, I might also want to turn these into income outposts later on. So our prison is filling up nicely. I think it's a little bit smaller than the American hospital, Base but... Is, under attack. is it? Nah, not too much of a problem. These guys here can't really harm us. They barely do any damage, and we we destroy them so quickly. A lot of these units even have trouble damaging my stuff faster than I'm blowing up their stuff. So, but... Base said let's get um, a vehicle bay or two one here and you know what that's so cheap may as well get a second one and a support bay because i can here we go and i might collect a couple of pow's here at one point yeah where, where's my infantry anyway I'm all here. you can move up here i can i can barely see them i mean the, the ratio of vehicle and soldier size is more realistic but that's a, oh look at that almost got through here but at the same time, it's actually difficult to see what the hell is going on here. Okay, let's just blow up these guys and then we can collect some POWs. So, we've got our vehicle bay here. So we have access to steam missiles, passenger accommodation, uh, Pumas, and Panzers. What can I get here? Ninja helicopters. Uh, yeah, let's get one of these. We have only limited resources. With our attack. prison we have... And what the hell uh, do you think you are doing? Take a step back here. We do have unlimited income with regard to money, but at the same time probably don't want to sit here for half an hour and just wait for these guys to finish. But I want a whole bunch of these guys and maybe not all of them built in one building, otherwise it takes too long. So, oh, and let's take a step back because I don't want to. Hey, stop that. Yeah, the hospital can actually heal. That's not the hospital. <laughs> yeah, dear Tim, nah. The hospital can actually heal guys. It costs a little bit of money, but you can do it pretty much anywhere. So it's, it's, it's just a healing art that just appears out of nowhere. So, what we're going to do is. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, let's, get, let's gather you here then. So you don't get the victimized by those planes. In the meantime, we may as well explore a little bit more. See where we want to move through. These guys are actually pretty neat, but they're also pretty fragile. If you discover entire air, you only discover one entire air, and then you just get shot down immediately, pretty much. Uh, but that's, uh, that's the destiny of these vehicles here. 
So, there's also multiple enemy bases in the north here. But the good thing is, what's happening here? Okay, barely does any damage, so who cares? Don't you? These guys always take the road. It's kind of annoying, actually. So, and I think I want some more enter air too. Namely, nope, that's not what I want. A bunch of these guys here, like six or so, against these planes. So maybe we can actually make our way around this base here and find a Tomahawk reactor or two because if we can blow those up then the, the cartel tends to run out of power fast. The Tomahawk reactors produce a lot of power compared to outposts but it also means that their bases only tend to have one or two unless they're really large. So if you blow those up you can... Okay... Hmm... So we are in a pretty good position here. Oh, this guy's coming after us. Possibly. So let's make a run for it. Okay, I thought maybe we could move in with our coolers, but that's clearly not an option. So, more POWs. I'm fine with that. Are we still producing here? Uh, sort of. Get a couple more. Yeah, just a couple more. Can I upgrade these in any way? Not with anything we have now. Can we... Hmm. Unit is under attack. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Okay, I can get a helipad. Uh, recon transport helicopters? Nah. Can I actually build more than one prison? Seems like it. That would be pretty sweet. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought I could only build one. Of course, I, to build actually more than one, I need any space of sorts, but I don't really have that. Ah, uh, whatever, really. Uh, you can just hang out here. And once we're ready here, we're going to... Here's my entire air guys, you will, will be separated from the rest. Didn't I build a lot more of you? Okay, I guess building you is a lot slower than I thought it would be. But that's okay. And we're done here, so we may as well produce three more of these guys here and then we're going to move out and destroy those radars. Right now we're actually in a quite a comfortable position because they can't harm us. Everything they do to our outposts here will be fixed immediately and their planes don't even come close to destroying our stuff. Hmm. Because I could exploit that and tuck them somewhere completely different. Could sneak into one of their higher bases there. But uh, might not be worth it to be honest. And I don't really want all this garbage here in the middle of the map. So how's it going here? I'm almost done with these guys. That's good. Yeah, once we have those we can we can move out. And nope, you weren't shot down, but that's okay. Maybe I should do I have anti No, I don't have Don't think I have any good anti air infantry anyway. I think that's more of an American and cartel thing. Yeah, I've, the Chimera tends to have more of these mixed units where they where they have a lot of roles they can cover and they can also upgrade their stuff that it covers multiple roles. Oc occasionally can be really confusing to be honest. So that should be enough. Let's just park you over here. And let's park you over there. And then let's make a drive a little bit around around their main base defense, which I assume are um, like somewhere here. They'll probably have more turrets there as well, but I'll I'll deal with those later. For now I can't be bothered to do that. How expensive is upgrading to a construction outpost? Of course that costs me. Unit is under attack. Come on, just don't blow up my tanks like that. I need those. Well, I guess it's going to take a while until we're over there because these guys aren't exactly like the fastest guys, but that's okay. So here we have a fancy fancy Cosmo drone, which actually looks kind of impressive. Provided it doesn't look completely pixelated. What's happening? Oh, oh, hello. I don't remember you. Oh, tank destroyers. Yeah, um, luckily if you have enough tanks, 
Well, enough tanks solve pretty much all of your problems in this game, especially if they have anti air. Hello. What are these anyway? Octo. Well, it's dead now. So let's take a little bit of a detour here. Should really have these guys closer to the rest of my units. But there's a reason why, why I brought a whole bunch of them. And I wish these guys would continue to focus on my base, because then they wouldn't really do any damage. Oh, hello tanks. Oh, now I have to like, go on a detour here just to destroy these, these guys here. That's really annoying. But what can you do? So, I'll get over here. Yeah, this game also has severe pacing issues. If you, if you play it safe, then... Wow, they, now they're, re they're really focusing on my planes here. I don't like that. By which I mean on my tanks. If the safest way is usually to just sit here for half an hour and just gather resources because all the units are so fragile, it's really, really easy to get everything you have blown up in absolutely no time. Hello. Yeah, you can blow up these guys. I'm going to, going to blow up your radars in instead. So there we go. Oh look, a tom Tomahawk Reactor. Let's blow that up and let's take... Oh, let's take the step back here before it detonates. There we go. Detonates so violently that it temporarily introduces scan lines to your screen. Ensure that all enemy presence is cleared before sending in the engineers, Colonel. Will do. So these towers are now out of energy, which makes them a lot easier to take out. The question is where is... destroy enemy buildings. Okay, so... Are there any more enemy buildings left? I guess there's more turrets down here, so... Let's explore a little bit. Oh, yeah, there's, there's another one here. You don't need to go all, all the way in, that's just going to get you killed. I kind of like the fireworks you're doing there, though. And boom. Good job. Engineers are on their way. Look at this crater here. So, in the meantime... Oh, yeah, well, not in the meantime, I'll build another prison up here. Colonel, so our satellites are picking up increased activity in the Cosmodrome. They are preparing a shuttle for launch. Okay, why did you misalign my we screen? Must prepare before assaulting their main complex. There are resources nearby to be exploited. Uh, yep, we'll get to that. But first, let me... Okay, so let me build another outpost here. So, outpost because I want another. Want essentially want another repair outpost here. So let's get that. And I also want another prison. Okay. So why why doesn't give this? M okay, I need another construction outpost for that. You know what? We may as well build another one here. But okay. Impossible. Construction impossible because because we're not allowed to construct on roads. Uh, so at least this one here is getting into shape. I sh think I'll call Building these guys up. Then let's turn you into a repair outpost straight away because these guys here need fixing. And yeah, we should probably exploit these fields here, but we're also going to need some defenses for that. And oh, look at that. So where's the rest of you? Were you shot down? Oh no, you are not. You just didn't move, that's okay. Okay, these guys are all healing. Oh, and I should probably move you up here so you are all in this beautiful, beautiful healing aura. Let's get the upgrade for that straight away. And... Yeah, you should survive that. Boom. Hey, you come, you come to me. I'm not scared of you. So, let's wait until these guys are all healed and then we can claim that field in the north. In the meantime, we can maybe get a turret or two here. 
Let's just get one for now so I self save some aluminium. And these guys need a lot of healing. Um, then we should probably get another outpost in the north. So where's that vehicle? Is it coming from the south? Oh no, it's coming from this direction and apparently it's a lot of Apparently, it's a lot of time to get through here, which is understandable. Building so it's oh, I can get. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, let's get let's get all those upgrades straight away. Because they will rebuild their their stuff later on. And let's claim these resources here. And I think I'm going to build another outpost there straight away. So here we go. Upgrade completed. Okay, now I really can't build a prison here. That is... Yeah, so I thought the HQ would give me a build radius. But I guess I was wrong about that. Nope, no build radius here. Upgrade completed. Could build yet another one here, obviously, but I don't really fancy doing that. And of course, let's get refineries here. That's some pretty decent resources here. Obviously, they will be contested. So that only gets us so far. And damn, you're slow. And can I get... Oh, I can get Spear Protocol upgrade now. If I could afford it, which I can't. But that's okay. I wonder whether I get actually access to planes. Oh, okay. I actually have a counter on here. Nah, I guess we'll do that. Doesn't look too critical to me. Building so... Completed. That's said and done. Hmm. No. Oh, wait. That wasn't a, oh, there was a construction outpost. Never mind. So let's wait until these guys here are ready. Could turn this. Detected. Oh, look at that. Uh, let's turn this into repair outpost. Otherwise, this is not going to end well. I'll build a construction outpost later. Oh, wow. That's a lot of POWs there. And But we need some aluminium for that. Or do we... Yeah, we need some aluminium for that. For the outpost and then even more for the transformation. And, oh yeah, we have to protect this base too, but we do want to do that anyway. Upgrade completed. So, the thing is, you can play this game faster. The problem with that is that if you don't watch out and how big is your repair aura? Building big enough. Let's get more of these guys. And then let's get another up. This time a construction outpost. I could I could get one up here, obviously, to get some defenses going. Yeah, let's actually do attack. let's do that. Of course, then it's not a repair outpost. I need to build another outpost for that. Also, repair outposts can't build one and can't. Hmm. Actually, let's not do that. Let's Upgrade move that. Completed. Let's move that over. Hmm. I kind of want to move it in a way that I could could get. You know what? Whatever, I might build yet another Upgrade outpost there completed. at one point. For now, let's move you guys over here and you guys over there and wait for the resources to roll in, hopefully. Yeah, you can play this game faster, but if you don't know exactly what you're doing and what, what's waiting for you, then there's a good chance that you're just going to get all your units killed and then you need an even longer Stop time to recover. Detected. That's great. Okay, time for you guys to move up. And yeah, I need a repair outpost there as well. And I need a construction outpost. So let's get let's get that repair outpost going. Yep, yeah, and I lost a bunch of these guys now, but that's okay. Building complete. You can You can walk home. You become a construction outpost and you whoops. Oh you aren't even finished yet, so never mind. You move over here. And where's that construction vehicle? Base oh, what's happening? Attack. Never mind. We're good here, I guess. Yeah, these guys are not going to get through. This guy here is way too tough, and especially in combination with these choppers. Hey, look at this. They're doing no damage. They need artillery to get through here, which it might send sooner or later. We'll see. So, what status here? Good enough, I guess. Unit is under attack. And it's outpost galore. And here we go. So can I please build that other prison now? 
Almost. Oh, you're not transformed yet. Building completed. There we go. So. Get the... Okay, why can didn't I turn this into a construction outpost? I'm pretty sure I did, and that should allow me to building put buildings around the up. Okay, I don't get this. Stealth enemy detected. I don't get this. Why can't I build any stuff here? Or what? Whatever. Oh, now I can. Oh, so I can select a second prison, but I can't actually build one. Is that it? You know what? Whatever. Let's just smoke these guys out and then build some more, some more stuff there. And I think I also want to activate this protocol here. Boom. There we go. Building completed. And you know what? I think I want more of these guys here. Yeah, a lot more of these guys. Building completed. So, and you get all your upgrades because I can really need that. Also, you can't build multiple prisons, but that's okay. And I should probably get a couple more of you guys as well, because... Air control center, defensive center... That's great. Um, I can actually afford that. I do have... Oh, wow, I've got a lot of power. I can definitely afford that. Upgrade so, air, air control tower... Um, I could actually build that down... Well, I cannot build that down here because I don't have construction outpost. Yeah, let's, let's get one or two of these and let's see uh, what kind of fancy vehicles we have access to. Upgrade complete. Anti-ballistic center. Um, fancy, I guess. Oh, we actually have access to S sword vehicle bay. Ooh, wow. That only costs me money, so I can always build it. Research lab. Do I want that? Probably. Hey, let's just build all this stuff here. I might as well demonstrate it. Here we have a prayer extraction protocol. Oh, we need an extra protocol for that. Because, of course... Base is under you get attack. nothing for free in this game. Oh, this one, this one is already half dead. But yeah, it ca oh yeah, I, I forgot. I need a second oh, outpost to repair detected. that outpost. This is okay. Let's get a second repair outpost here. You know what? what, what whatever. May, may as well. May as well. So you guys, POW, couple Base of guys. Yeah. And so do you. What's happening here? Oh, more guys. And looks like they're still not going to get through here. What? Where the hell get? Oh, or you were the guys that harassed Upgrade my choppers when you first came down here. That's okay. So fancy new buildings. What do we have here? Auto repair. Igna missile. Terminator. I don't even know what a terminator is. Base is under attack. Yeah, this is way too confusing, and I have no idea what all this stuff does and why I should get it. But I will see. For now, let's just kill you. Boom. And why, why did you move in so close? There was no reason to do that. Oh, oh, this guy can intercept missiles, I see. When it takes forever to actually... To actually... Or can income outpost. Yeah, I can, I can do, that, do, that, do that too, but obviously I'm going to... Need to make an investment for getting an income outpost, so outpost craze is likely to. So, Terminator, heavy combat vehicle, infantry and buildings can intercept missiles. We can build the, <laughs> the burrito. I yeah, know it's not called burrito. There are to be uh, that's awesome, but they're probably under enemy control. Upgrade completed. So, and yeah, these guys still have no chance, but at the same time, I said that before. Probably unlikely that we're going to manage to punch through their their stuff. Anyway, let's get a spear vehicle bay set up somewhere here. There we go. Do I want any of these? Light vehicle? Nah. I mean, I can kind of afford this. But it's, it's just going to take me forever to get any of this going. Hmm, may as well get a couple of these, maybe like four or so. You guys drive north. Don't know why that dropped the frame rate of all things. And then oh yeah, we've got a we've got an air control tower. Kinda of forgot about that. Let's what do we have here? Mm-hmm. Ground attack drone dro drone, yeah. The neuron. See what you did there. So let's let's maybe build a couple more of these. 
get another air controls. How expensive are these? Oh, only cost. If it only costs oil, then I'm okay with it, generally spoken. And now I can actually repair my repair sand. Okay, why is why are you not repairing my? Oh, are you telling me this is? Oh, yeah. Once I extend your radius, then you should be able to repair that. Please tell me you will be able to repair that. Because if not, I'm probably going to start to cry. This mission only took half an hour. What the hell? This is. I mean, I could attack by now, but the same thing is if I if I do too early, then then this is just going to end in in pain and misery. But I think what I'm... So do these guys cost me... Those do not cost rare earth. That's good. So we've got... Recon drone. Yeah, that sounds good. And what... Are these guys good against buildings? Vehicles and buildings. I like that. So I do have to take out their... Main HQ. I can do that. And these guys, they're not going anywhere. But, this, but they keep trying. I'm gonna give them that. So let's... Run a re what the why are you flying from that direction? You're going to fly over that other base and then you get shot down. I promise you that. Yep, called it. Damn, they have a lot of resource fields here. You're not even going to get to that other base, are you? Nope, definitely not. And damn, they have a lot of anti-air here. But, speaking of which, can I actually build... I think I... I think I can actually build an aluminium outpost at 1.2, or can I? Research lab, do I have that? Sword vehicle bay, I do have that. Mm -hmm. Stealth missiles, extra metal storm, what's up? Whatever. So, do I build a couple of these guys here? And uh, didn't I build four of you? Oh, I built four of you. Never mind that then. So what I could do is I could of course. Call, call you know what? Let's let's just see how much we can do with airstrikes here. Now that my drone is dead, I may as well. What do you have here? Well, can't afford that round before we need rare earth for that. <laughs> What's up with rare earth? Rare earth. Never mind. So here we go. And let, let's just move out. Let's see how far we get. Maybe we can secure a resource field here, blow up some stuff, and possibly cause some damage to their main base. Let's just can we drive? We can't can't drive through these buildings here. That would be too much fun. Let's just wait until we run into. Let's just wait. Oh, hello. Someone's got a lot of resources here or stuff. But so do I. And yeah, you're going to need a lot more before you can stop now. But they probably have some sort of insane super weapon in their base. We'll see. Or maybe you can just drive straight through. They have no defenses here. What the hell? No, really. It means the HQ is right here. I'm just driving straight towards it. What the hell? Base is under attack. Oh no. No, seriously. There's, there's, there's nothing in the way here. I mean, okay, I'll one turret. That's not going to stop me. Oh, another turret, but it's blocked by this train, so who cares. Okay, I guess we're going to blow up their, their HQ then. Not even going to bother with you, because you're not going to stop me before that th thing goes down. And you know what? May as well get in some... Oh, those bombers are going to sh be shot down before we reach that ha HQ too. Okay, so now they have got a bunch of vehicles here, but still... Still not exactly um, impressive resistance. You know what? Let's let's send all my bombers on this, so I can make sure this really goes down. Okay, they do have a lot more stuff there than I thought initially, but still, about half my fighting force is still alive, and I think some of my bombers might actually make it through. Yeah, wow, they're sending everything after me now, but that's okay. Okay, I guess that's it then. Well, the Cosmodrome's control center is secure. That was close. No, it wasn't. It really wasn't. Well done, Colonel. Now let's make their computers talk. 
The situation here in Washington remains in a state of confusion, with rumors of an attempted coup on everyone's lips. The FBI has carried out a series of high-profile arrests, including high-ranking members of the country's armed forces. Several sources have named none other than General James Whittle as the head of the conspiracy. However, the general, who has avoided arrest, denounced in a brief communique a plot contrived by traitors and crooks in Washington. General Whittle is currently rumored to be at large in the Southwest, where he has rallied several local units to his cause.